to get him to say something. Something. <laughs> yes, we're back at the bar. So we have Bones with us today. He's missing his shades. Okay, time for neighborhood community shout outs. Okay, my question the other day was um, something weird about you, or what's the weirdest thing about you, and are you proud of it? Melody Mainville, Mom's Vlog 80, says there's nothing weird about her. I mean, even crawling outside in the middle of the night in your sleep, looking for your cat during a cat fight, knowing your cat is not an outdoor cat. That's There's nothing weird about that, Melody. Nothing. Seems perfectly so, normal to me. Yeah. So I, I, I'm going to send this message out. Ronnie Mainville, this question goes to you directly. Is there anything weird about Mel? Spill. She'll never know. Shh. Besides the obvious. <laughs> okay. And my question last night was, if you had to give up one of your five senses, what would you give up? Okay. Jay the Cannabis Explorer says he would give up taste. Because his brain has enough uh, recorded of recorded of foods tasted that anything he eats in the future, he already knows what it tastes like. Okay. That's logical. Okay. I mean, if you couldn't taste a hamburger and you ate a hamburger, but it could be bad. So. Angie says taste so she can eat super healthy food. And not taste how yucky it is. <laughs> Tanya Longley, she was funny. She gave two answers. If she lived with Cain, she said she would give up the sense of smell. I don't blame you there. I lived with Cain. Lived with Cain. Cain's back up in Big Bear right now. But yes, sense of smell with Cain, it must go. Uh, but she said that she would give up the sense of touch because she's touched everything in her life that she wants to touch. But don't you need to have touch to pick, like, things up? Or, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't have any sense of touch in this hand anymore. Yeah, on so. my fingertips. It just, it, I have tingling, so I know that there's something there, but I don't have a sense of touch anymore. Greg Myers says taste. He would miss it, but that's what he chooses. Shelter from wind, no explanation, but said sight. Um, wouldn't want to give up hearing because of beautiful music. Cole today said she wouldn't mind giving up hearing because she already knows sign language. I just poked myself in the eye. Terry Johnson. I guess you're giving up eyesight. <laughs> Terry Johnson says taste. She would miss it, but that's what she would choose. No other reasoning, but that's it. Dawn Rambles, you better hope none of your other co-workers watch us, <laughs> says she would give up hearing because her co-workers have nothing important to say. <laughs> I, I agree when I was working. Yeah. <laughs> I love my singing monsters, says smell. Um, if you can't smell, you can't taste. But that's okay. Wants to keep his sight and hearing to see how beautiful things are and to hear beautiful music. Touch so he knows what he's picking up. Dougie Styles. Smell. Because it's easier to clean the kitty litter boxes that way. I would have to agree on that one. Bambi. Taste. Because she needs smell for danger like fire or gas. Hearing for danger, like what happened with her water heater the other night. Vision for pretty much anything. And touch to feel everything. And she has a child that, well, a um, disabled child that she has to take care of. So she needs to be able to drive to take her child to and from the doctors. She needs to touch because he gets fed through a G-tube. So she needs all that. So yeah, I, I would agree. Um, Crimson Fairy says, if she lived with Cain, smell. 
Thumbs up on that one. Needs to be a consensus on that, yes. <laughs> Lord Gernier, Gierno? Gierno, yeah. Smell. Because he thinks he, do he doesn't want to smell all the dirty things in this world. Yeah, I agree with you on that. Yeah, you need to shower, by the way. <laughs> what would you give up? My sense of wonder. That's not one of your five senses. My sense of humor? That, no, come on. I want to lose my sense of community because that's what this is all about. Well, I have already lost my sense of touch on one hand, so I'm halfway there. Okay. That's it. I would give up probably, I would have to go, it would be a toss-up between sense of smell and taste. So, let's just say smell, because if I gave up smell, then I would also lose taste. So, let's give up smell, so I don't have to smell, like, Bootsy pooing everywhere. And taste, so that, I agree with Angie, I can eat all the healthy foods I want and not have to taste how yucky they are. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's what I have to say about that. Now. My question for today is... It's a long one. No, it's not. When entering a social gathering... Do, Party. Do you make your presence known or slip in and look for someone you know or slip in and go hide in the corner somewhere? That's the question. And why? Why? Why do you do what you do? Why? 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 It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Do you want to make you seasick? Yes, dear. Sorry. Okay, so yesterday's question was about the remake of Amityville Horror. The Horror. See how that's pronounced? It's not pronounced whore. 2005. And uh, what house was used for the exteriors? When I first saw the movie, I thought they built it because it was pretty ugly and bizarre looking. But it was a real house that was modified a little to have that uh, gambrel roof that uh, looked like a farm, that farm roof that was uh, so famous in the original. And it was the Rustman House, which was a famous house on uh, Silver Lake in Salem, Wisconsin. And those of you who uh, got it were Terry Johnson, Bambi S, Colt Today, Tanya Longley, and Greg Myers. Woohoo! Just waiting for that, actually. Today's question I like this one. The movie Don't Be Afraid of the Dark, 2010. Good movie. Uh, I think it's that Guillermo del Coro, didn't they direct that one? Okay! Um, there, there, there is a carving over the uh, furnace, there's a stone, where the creatures are living underneath. Uh, and it says something in runes. What does it say? Not ruins, but runes. Runes. She says ruins. <laughs> She says she doesn't say horror either. <laughs> There's certain words I just can't say right. Okay, there you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all very much. Thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff. And we will see you all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.